This Montreal area rink is 10,000 kilometers away from North Korea, but the moves practiced here could end up being watched just as closely as any combat exercises. Ryom Tae Ok and Jusik Kim are the only North Korean athletes to qualify for next month's Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. And they did it with the help of a Canadian coach. I see the, this raw talent, and as a coach, when you see raw talent, you're like, oh my God, you know, I, I really feel I could do something, I can make a difference for them. The pair approached Marcotte last year at the World Championships. They were admirers of two of Marcotte's other skaters, Canadian superstars Eric Radford and Megan Duhamel. Um, it was really cute because they, they seemed to want to... Um, to get help from anybody who would help them. If anybody offered them some sort of suggestion, they tried it. They tried it 100%. Riom and Kim trained alongside the Canadians in Saint-Julie for eight weeks last summer. They were very, very disciplined. Um, their coaches could be very strict with them, but um, I think that they, you know, we had a great energy, a great training and camarader camaraderie with them. But a lot more than a medal maybe riding on their Olympic routine. The games are seen as a chance for the North and South to put aside politics. You know, when you look at the Olympic logos, there's uh, five rings with five different colors, um, you know, all touching each other. You know, like, it's, that's the goal. Like, that's what sh sports should be. If North Korea does send athletes to the Pyeongchang Games, it could be an icebreaker for North-South relations. And it will be due in part to the double-axle diplomacy that happened here in the suburban Montreal skating rink. Simon Akineshny, CBC News, Saint-Julie.